Hi, Tom Cole, the coach for Buckeye Cable System and BCSN, and welcome into another edition of Sports Flash. Got an outstanding football player from Bowling Green High School here, Mr. Steve Speck. Steve, welcome. Number 11 in the program. Steve, uh, we talked a lot on Sports Nightly uh, about you guys week after week after week. Uh, playoffs. It had been a long time Big since Bowling years. Green football was in the playoffs. Eight and four, great season. Um, was that a surprise to you guys? Or, Steve, did you know going into <clears throat> double sessions, hey, we're better than people think? Oh, well that, that starts last year. Last year at the end of the season, I told Coach, I said, Coach, we're going to do two things next year. We're going to beat Rossford, who was our first team that we played, and we're going to make it to the playoffs for the first time in 15 years. And uh, people, people on the outside of our community and people even in BG said it ain't possible for Bowling Green to do that. And uh, we just worked Coach Spittler in the mornings and lifting and got big, and we were ready to beat on some people when the season came around. Well, that, that is a very cool statement. What did Coach say when you said that? He was like, all right, we're going to do that. And, uh, <laughs> Let's do it. It sounds like a good idea. Uh, that's right, and we were determined. Well, that determination paid off. We enjoyed following the team. It was one of the feel-good stories in high school football in our entire uh, area. So we were really proud of you guys. I have to uh, – you were an outstanding linebacker, a little bit of running back, but i uh, got to ask you about your quarterback. I followed uh, – I knew him as uh, when he was playing in the peewee leagues, Devin Garcia, and uh, – I always thought that, you know, watching him play even as a little guy, he was a winner. I mean, he was a guy that was going to make plays. You know, maybe, maybe all the stats weren't going to be the greatest, but when it came time to win the game, he was going to make a play. What was it like uh, watching him play quarterback? I mean, Devin Garcia, he's a, he's a freak athlete. And, you know, Bowling Green people, athletes like that, aren't necessarily something we've seen in the last 15 years. Right. But but watching him just make some plays and pull some stuff out of, out of the air and stuff like that was, was ridiculous. But, I mean, he was a great quarterback, and uh, we had a good backup quarterback, too, and Aaron Donaldson. And so if it was, De if, if, if it was uh, Devin or if it was Aaron, I mean, either one could have been put out there, and our team just would have won. Well said. Uh, you had confidence in both of them. And, uh, Steve, um, how about a class, a particular class at Bowling Green High School that you said, you know what? Hey, I enjoy this class. I'm learning some things. Teacher's great. Is there a particular class that jumps out at you? Uh, I always try to strive to do the hardest classes and, and push myself the most. So uh, currently, that'd be my calculus class and my agriculture studies class. Okay. So, calculus is tough. I think I, you know, I may have failed that three times in college. <laughs> I may still have an open transcript on that. Calculus is tough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you like the challenge? Is that it? You seem like a challenge. You seem like a challenge guy to me. You seem like the kind of guy to me. That if somebody tells you you can't do something, <laughs> you're going to spend all day proving that you can. That's Am right, I right? That's right. Nobody's yeah, going yeah, to I tell love, you you can't. I love football players uh, like you, Steve. That, those are the guys that make a team competitive because you don't back down from, from anyone. I mean, you just take the challenge no. and you run with it. You know, I know fourth and goal, Coach Mike Robb, um, we've had a couple of his uh, kids in, on in the past, and he does a great job helping young people become better athletes and what, what is it about the training Steve what how did it help you I mean <clears throat> like like uh, coach says is that a couple years ago there wasn't anything out here and then now fourth and goals here and I was just looking for something to, to really push yourself in the off season because uh, I wanted to do it and I had the determination but I didn't know exactly where to go with it and uh, somebody mentioned fourth and goal and so I went up there and it, it was everything you need to, to get better you work pretty hard Oh my gosh, I tell you what, it, it, uh, <laughs> Tired it, out it'll, it'll kill you, over. it'll yeah, kill yeah. you, and yeah. uh, you know, uh, it, he'll open up opportunities for you, and if you want to go play college ball, he'll, he'll make it a real possibility for anybody out there. Steve, I admire um, your toughness and determination. You know, some people are somewhat reticent about taking on challenges. You know, they're fearful of that. You're a guy that just throws yourself in there and say, let's go get them. And, and in life, you win with people like that. And That's people right. that aren't afraid. You're, I think Teddy Roosevelt, one time, uh, President Roosevelt, used to always talk about putting yourself in the arena. That you're not afraid to go out and try. You know, you may get knocked down, but you're getting up. I know that for it's, a fact. Yeah, what, do you, what do you want to study in college? I, uh, I want to study business particularly ag business okay. or economics and see where I can go with that, probably okay. merchandising grain or stuff. Okay. Well, I can tell you flat out, you're going to be a success in anything you do just with your attitude. Steve, on behalf of Buckeye Cable and BCSN, I want to congratulate you on really was a feel-good story <clears throat> in high school football, Bowling Green. We followed you every Friday night on uh, Sports Nightly, and it was a great story. So we were talking about you guys in our uh, 
uh, BCSN newspaper that we put out at the end of the year that the Bowling Green story is going to be in there. So All right. congratulations to you, big guy. Thank you very much. All right. Tom Coley Coates for Buckeye Cable and BCSN.